particular goal. This is really where we get to the bottom of what this entire video has actually been about. There is a fundamental disconnect between suffrage and enfranchisement. Our problems don't stem from giving women the vote because that's not where their political power comes from. Phyllis Schlafly said as much in her interview with Buckley. Legislative proposals like the ERA won't give women anything which they haven't already got or have a way of getting. Women do not vote with a five by eight paper ballot. They vote with their vaginas and they get what they want. We've dressed civilization up with politics and a 40 hour work week and mind blowing technology like smartphones. But at the end of the day, it's still just the same old game of survival and reproduction. Mate, spawn, die. Civilization is really a group survival strategy. Our politics guiding that civilization are informed by our underlying innate biology. And at the center of that is and always has been women, the limiting factor of reproduction. I know that you want a small government, but going against women or more broadly women's collective interests is effectively going against the fundamental purpose of civilization itself. I hate to have to repeat what Stardust and Barbarossa have been saying for damn near half a decade now, but this is not about feminism. This is about women. This is about men. This is about how men and women interact with each other. And the corollary to all of this is that if our societal problems don't come from the vote, then our solutions aren't going to come from the vote either. Barbarossa said this a long time ago, but I think it bears repeating. Men don't vote with paper ballots either. Men vote with their feet. In much the same way that female political power comes from their innate reproductive capital, the political power of men ultimately comes from the fact that they are the builders and drivers of civilization. Change may come, but it is not going to come from a paper ballot or some fucking pseudo pro male political party who will never actually get into power. It's going to come from technical developments made by other men. It's going to come from more and more men who've never even heard of MGTOW just independently weighing up the modern cost benefits of a wife, mortgage, 2.3 kids, etc. and just deciding to go their own way. Change may come, but until that time, I think we need to step back and be honest about the nature of society, politics, and our place in it as individuals. We need to stop trying to blame all of our problems on the voting preferences of others. We need to stop busting our asses with the expectation that somehow our own voting preferences will eventually change anything. But I think what we need to do most of all is just chill the fuck out about what the politicians and the bureaucrats behind them are doing and just enjoy our lives. I suspect that on Sunday morning, I will wake up to a new Australian federal government. But regardless of who's in power, my first coffee of the morning is going to taste just as good as it did the day before. I say this with all sincerity. Peace out, guys.